Hi, Visible Visionaries. It is so good to be with you. How you be wherever you are. Where are you? Where are you? What room are you in? What city? What state? What country? Reaching out to connect. Heart to heart. Right? And um, so let's see. I just want to tell you I adore you. I'm so grateful you're here. I want to tell you that we're going to do a, a reading. I'm going to use my favorite ever cards. I have so many cards to pick from. But tonight, I want to use my dragon cards. They are really my favorite. The message always seems to be spot on. And I think also it's in celebration because tomorrow morning, if you saw my um, my little down below, I'm being interviewed. Not really. It's an inspirational like WTF right now, right? Uh, this, this friend of mine, Kim, is bringing you know, a couple of people on to do some pretty profound 30, just 30 minutes, 9 a.m. Pacific. So join us and we're gonna be doing some inspiration, motivation and some reality. And I decided, cause it's so early in the morning, I have a onesie and it's for real. I'm getting dressed up like a dragon onesie. So you're gonna see like, I'm into dragons, just gotta say. So I could have been in my PJs, but I'm gonna be in my dragon onesie to show up for that alone is totally worth the price of admission. Oh my God. And um, so I want to know how you're doing for real. And I also want to say that I have had, as my friend Corinne says, a very soggy couple of days. You know, I was doing really well. And on some level, I profoundly am. And I'm really connected to what this is all about for me. You know, if we're that powerful a creator, and considering I'm a metaphysician, that's true. And it's all an illusion anyway. How, why did I shut myself in with no contact? And what is it I have to face, do, be, experience? What haven't I implemented? So, okay, I'll start with implemented. Uh, I'm rolling out a membership. And I've been really wanting to change up what I do anyway. And it's like, it couldn't be more perfect. People are not allowed to go out. People want to write a book. Ta-da, I'm a book writing coach. So I'm opening up a membership at debbie-inger.com slash visible visionaries. Check it out. Um, it's really easy to join. And you're going to get a call with me every month. And I'm going to guide people to write their book. And the second call every month is going to be with a healer. So we're going to do a lot of shifting big time because the world is ready for it. And this has been my dream. I'm also doing a book anthology about dogs. How fun is that? 25 chapters. Woof, woof. And this is a story that each author writes, five pages only. I guide them through the whole process. I run it through an international guaranteed bestseller to the formatting and everything. And that's at debbyd.net slash puppy. <laughs> no, debbyd.net slash anthology. D-E-B-B. -B. Remember, spend, spell my name right. There's no E after Debbie. It's debbyd.net slash anthology. And as far as being, doing, experiencing, you know, um, my go-to has always been busyness. And even though I understand that inherently it is a part of my nature, if you looked at my astrology, my human design, my palm, my numerology, everything would speak to the fact that I have a lot of energy, right? And I have a lot of get up and go if I want to create things. And I love experiencing life and I have the explorer in me and all of that. And at the same time as it's inherent and a gift, it's also a wound in the sense that it holds me back from stillness and being. And there's a lot that comes with being, such as a connection with the source and all that is, meaning me and source all at once, such as what do I feel and being still enough to just feel those things. And I will say, and I'm really pulling back the curtain here and being very vulnerable with you, that my, mm, the thing I run away from the most is loneliness. And I know you wouldn't think that about me, or maybe you do, but most people wouldn't to look at my life. But it is, it is something that drives me. You know, I think it's been a thing with me since I was a kid and and a lot of that is because I was so lonely growing up. So, you know, you don't want to revisit that pain that was probably unresolved as a kid. And so, oh my God, that I have to face that. 
and I'm choosing to face it face on, like rather than, cause I could be busy here. I could be <laughs> painting the walls and I'm, and I have uncluttered and I have cleaned and I've done things in the kitchen and I'm giving away clothes and books and CDs and I'm doing all that too. And meditating and sometimes just being with God and sometimes just being with me and sometimes not because I still am not fabulous at stillness and being, but I am getting better and I'm choosing it every day, no matter how big or how many times I am choosing it. And it's a big deal for me. And the next part of that, shut in, um, I will say in a global scale, look, for all of us, consumerism is ridiculous. Uh, we're all so busy buying things to look good and feel good and to no effect mostly. And we're so busy driving here and doing this, you know, busyness actually is something in society. And we're all experiencing like the air outside has never been more beautiful. I'm going to tell you living in Los Angeles, every time, because I travel a lot and every time I go to another state, I always take pictures of the skies because I can see clouds and things that are beautiful. And people are like, why would you take a picture of a cloud? It's because you don't see, um, because I don't see that in Los Angeles. I don't. And I see cloud. I see blue skies. When it's not raining, it's been raining like a mofo. But right, <laughs> but it, right now I am seeing clouds and I am seeing blue skies and it is spectacular. I cannot remember. I moved here to go to USC and I do not really ever remember seeing skies like this. And everybody knows the clean, what's happening to the ocean. So we're really cleaning up. So I believe inside outside job. I'm a visibility shaman. I do it in my work and I do it in my being and I do it for clients and I see it happening worldwide. I just don't think this is an accident. And I think if we're not using this time wisely, it's sad, right? And so whatever it is for you, if you're bold and fierce enough to post with great vulnerability below, what you haven't wanted to face, but what you're maybe coming out even like a toe at a time, what is it? How can we support you or just witness you? I think right now just witness you is enough because I think we have to be a little careful with feedback because um, you know, even to share that with you, that loneliness is my thing. And so I'll, I'll take that a step further to explain this creation to you. Like, how does it get any more fierce than this? And this is why I've been soggy. So I was in a year and three month relationship with somebody I was really madly in love with, like really in love with. And, um, you know, just things started to change. Um, I was asking for a couple of things and they, he just wasn't willing to meet them and they weren't that extraordinary, but um, yeah, it's choice, right? And that had a lot of impact on me. And there were a few other things about where he's uh, functioning in his life. They were scary to me. I can tell you women love to be cherished. Women know what they're going to be taken care of. And as a partner, I want to know my partner is his finances together and other things. And I was seeing things that were like, pay attention. And so with all of that in mind, and things sort of started to unravel there at the end, you know, I had to make a call. And I swear... Of course, on a conscious earthly level, I had no idea that the Sunday I broke up with him, two days later, we were going to be in lockdown for real. And I certainly didn't think it was going to last. How long has it been? I've lost count of days. I don't know how where we are in this whole process. But holy moly, cheeses, you know? Oh my God. So breakup, that's a heartbreak. Even for the right reasons, it's tender and it takes time. My best friend, Sid, who's a psychic, perceived that stuff was going to hit the fan. And she left L.A. to be with her boyfriend in another country. That was in early February. And then this Sunday, I was in a class and I got a message from one of my other best friends who said, Oh, I got news, you know, give me a call. And my brain said, oh, it must be about X, Y, Z, just coming up with some things because I know her very intimately. And immediately I got a download and said, it ain't X, Y, Z, she's moving. She's leaving California. 
so there was this thing rising up in me as my class was going on. I couldn't wait for it to be over. And as soon as it was, I took my dog for a walk, got on the phone and I just cut to the chase and said, listen, I just got to ask you because I'm, I got this information that you're moving. I mean, this doesn't make any sense. We've never talked about that. And she said, you're right. So she's moving back east. And I got through the call okay. And then I came back and I called a friend and fell to pieces because it's so much change all at once. It's just a lot of loss all at once. You know, and I have some sweet, I have so many friends, but you know, some of my sweet friends like in San Diego, like you got me and I do, I do. And I'm so blessed, but they're in San Diego. And, and there's something about knowing someone for years and years and nurturing time and having met each other's families and boyfriends oh, and boyfriends and boyfriends and, you know, socializing and doing things together. So if I could have, I had no idea I was going to do this. Oh, sorry, but it's good because the other thing I'm not great at is feeling. And I'm really sensitive, but letting out feelings has not been my forte. And so I just want to let the water run, you know, when it comes up just to honor, my God, <laughs> capitalize that it's leaving my body and being expressed. So yeah, it's not the same, you know, building real friendships takes time. And it takes a lot of knowing and it takes that you show up no matter what, and you know each other's poo poo and you still love each other and you know each other's brilliance and that's how you see each other. And it just, you know, a lot of togetherness. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I've got a mother with Alzheimer's in a facility who's slowly losing it and declining so rapidly because of the forced quarantine there and that she can't physically, well, she sees the people in the facility, but she can't see any of us. So that's really hard to hear her and some of our conversations, which sort of go around and around the boyfriend and my two, you know, really close best friends just gone. So it's just a lot. And um, I don't know what's on the other side of this, you know, and I can't pretend that I do, but I just, you know, to be in the moment and show up for the process and all of what this entails. And, um, yeah, so I've been doing great until Sunday, three days ago. And then oh, I just have this weight, this heaviness, this sadness. And truthfully, I know this too shall pass. I do. It always does, right? There's always a rainbow after the rain. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> But yeah, it just, I am where I am right now. And I'm just grateful that you're listening. So thank you. And just know I'm here. Like being visible isn't just about ta-da. It isn't glam and fab 24 seven. Being visible is really, I think being real. And if it helps anybody, awesome. It's helping me right now. So it is my intention to leave this for you and um, to pick a card, right? To pick a card. Uh, and I want this to be for all of us. So I'm sure these are all facing the right way. And I should have brought a tissue, but I had no idea I was gonna cry. Lord Jesus and all the apostles. All right, so uh, here. Anyway, I just want you all to whether you're live, Memorex, um, or what else? Or replay. Memorex, that's an old, old fucking term. All right, so just um, put your energy in here, right? <sighs> awesome. And let's just shuffle off to Buffalo. Uno, due, tre. Hey, what's one thing if you could do it right now, you would do? Okay. What do I want to say? Yeah. If there's one thing that's like maybe a little extravagant that you would do. I'm going to tell you what I would do because I sort of gave a little lead there. 
I would learn Italian. I love that language so much. You know, I want to live in Italy so badly. I know I, I was Italian in 1900 past lives. So what would you do? I would totally learn Italian. Okay, here's a card that just went me. I know to listen to me. That looks interesting. It looks like a sea urchin or something. Well, got to whip out the glasses for this one. So this is, oh, wow. Essence, are my, gla my glasses really that bad? <laughs> oh my God, they are uh, my glasses. That's not my glasses, honey, those are my eyes. I hope you could see this. Let me pull it back a little bit just so you could see the card. So that's what we're calling, isn't that cool? It's almost like a mermaid and then the light. Um, so let me find the card and give you what your reading is and see what this means to you or for you or how you resonate with this. I hope you do. Um, this is sad. It's only sad because I can't read the card. It's true. I cannot. The word is essence. I can't see the second word. Oh, I think it says, oh, essence portal. Excuse me. It is the last card. God, I wish I had a tissue. I really started um, getting soggy there. Oh, awesome. Okay, here's our reading. Ta-da. So, ready? Drum roll, please. This portal opens your energy to welcome the raw power of spirit and universal intelligence, the higher knowledge of Father, Mother, God, one of the most debilitating energies that holds you back from liberating yourself is guilt. This portal first offers you back from liberating, what, sorry. This portal first offers you a very deep cleansing. Oh my God, this is amazing. A very deep cleansing of these heavy energies of guilt and fear. Your soul speaks to you in some of the most magnificent ways, communicating all the time, hoping, desiring that you will listen or perhaps feel or experience even the tiniest inkling that the time has come for you to experience something different, something more fulfilling, something more whole. Oh my God, you can't write this stuff, but it's written. Perhaps the wholeness you seek is the wholeness as a being experiencing life. You are ready to pass through the essence portal and experience a change by understanding the importance of completing cycles in life and allowing them to be completed. You move into your future without guilt or fear. It is time for you to complete unfinished karmic contracts and commit to serving through and becoming a divine channel for spirit. Amen, a woman. Mother Moon brings you the first key which initiates the healing. That's kind of profound, by the way, because we are right now in a pink super moon. Mother Moon brings you the first key to serving through and becoming a divine for spirit. Mother Moon brings you the first key which initiates the healing, clearing, and release for you. She has activated the time locks pertaining to contracts in life, which are complete. Trust in this light, power, and presence and give permission for the rays from the essence portal to shatter the core roots within your guilt, which births fears, inhibiting your journey forward. Serving as a divine channel for spirit through the essence portal means being your true self, being your most accomplished self in whichever moment you find yourself. Humanity is awakening. You are a part of that. You have contributed to it and you continue to awaken, to learn, grow, discover, and master many aspects of life. Give thanks for this, for you have chosen well. Mm. That was beautiful. Good picking, people. Well, I adore you, and I cannot wait to read your posts. I totally need a tissue, because I'm still really soggy, and I'm very vulnerable and very with you right now. So let me know where you are, what part of the country, world, state of mind, state of being, and you can be real 
there's no judgment here. If anybody judges, they're out of this group. This group is total like love and connection and being visible, being the visionary you already are. But now is the time to really unfurl your wings like the dragon and fly. I love you.